Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Cyrus Mehta. I'm a cataract and refractive surgeon. So I'm the guy you come to when you have cataracts and you want robotic cataract surgery or laser cataract surgery. As well, I'm the guy you come to when you're fed up of wearing your spectacles, you're tired of wearing contact lenses and you want to be spectacle free. So over 25 years since I came back from America, I must have seen a quarter of a million patients and done about 35,000 surgeries. So I have a wide experience dealing with cataracts and refractive problems. Glaucoma is a disease in which basically the pressure in the eye rises. Because the pressure in the eye rises, it presses on the optic nerve at the back of the eye, which is basically a weak spot in the eyeball. Because it presses on the optic nerve, it creates a deficiency or reduced vision on the sides, which are called a field effect. So to diagnose someone as glaucoma, generally, number one, the pressure should be high. Number two, that pressure should be affecting the optic nerve and causing a field defect. However, there's one important thing to remember, and that is not everyone with glaucoma has high pressure. Many cases of glaucoma present to us with normal pressure. So then you'll ask me, the doctor, if we just check pressure, won't we miss cases of glaucoma? And the answer is yes. And that's why it's important to see an eye doctor who looks inside the eye and when we look at the optic nerve, it has a look to it which tells us that doctor, you should be looking at this patient from the angle of glaucoma even though eye pressure is normal. These are called normal tension glaucomas and they are actually much more dangerous and they progress faster than regular glaucomas. So once again to reiterate, we check eye pressure, we look inside the eye, the optic nerve and we do a test called visual fields which determines the side vision loss for the patient. So when glaucoma as a disease starts, patients generally have no symptom. They come to me with other symptoms like my head is paining, my head feels heavy, my eyes feel heavy at the end of the day. And incidentally, when we check the eye pressure, we find the eye pressure is elevated. Sometimes when we look in the eye, even though the eye pressure is not elevated, we can see glaucoma in the optic nerve. We immediately order a field test. A field test basically checks the side vision of the patient. Now in glaucoma, initially only the absolute periphery of the vision is affected. Then the visual field starts to contract. The patient can't see anything on the sides. And in the right at the end, the vision becomes like this, like a tube. It's like rolling up a newspaper and looking down that. This is called tubular vision. And this is one of the end stages of glaucoma. After this, the tube shuts and the person becomes permanently blind. So our effort is to catch a patient in the early stages when they're just starting to lose their absolute peripheral vision and protect them against the progress of glaucoma with eye drops or laser or surgery. Generally, when we first diagnose a patient with glaucoma, and especially if the eye pressure is elevated, we would like to control the eye pressure with certain eye drops. Some people may not be able to tolerate the eye drops or the eye drops may not be lowering pressure enough. In this case, we do a non-invasive laser procedure called SLT. I've been doing SLT for more than 12 years and SLT is now the gold standard worldwide as a first-line therapy for glaucoma. In fact, in Switzerland or in America in advanced centers, when a patient first presents with glaucoma, we wouldn't even give them eye drops, we would just do SLT first. So SLT or selective laser trabeculoplasty is totally non-invasive, painless and just takes two minutes. So why wouldn't we use that as a first-line therapy? It normally reduces eye pressure by four to five points in just one treatment. Also, it's repeatable. If the effect decreases after a year or two, you can just simply do the procedure again. And once again, the procedure will work and the eye pressure will drop. It's only when multiple sittings of SLT have stopped working, when eye drops have stopped working and the visual field progressively keeps contracting, the person is in danger of losing the vision, we decide to do a glaucoma surgery. 